It was probably the biggest upset in Premier Championship Wrestling history. Easily the biggest upset since we reopened Turner's Hall, but maybe the biggest upset going back many years before that. This man reigned as Premier Champion since late last year, but he got too full of himself, got a little bit too loud, a little bit too braggadocious, and Ron Mathis left with egg on his face humiliated. He spent 20 minutes out here saying he was going to be champion forever, forever. He kept repeating forever, and by the end of the segment, Ron Mathis was leaving empty-handed. you uh, really want to keep bringing this up, and do you think Ron Mathis may hear this? I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to remind him that, that forever didn't last as long as he thought it would. I don't particularly want him to hear this either, but I'm a journalist, and Mathis seemed very calm and serene when Nick Lendl interviewed him after the broadcast, but as soon as Lendl closed the locker room door, you heard a lot of banging and throwing at chairs and screaming and swearing. Mathis is on edge. Not... He still thinks he's the champion. That's a tough thing to shake. Once you've been, once you've been to the top of the mountain, you don't get used to being one of the valley folk. Well, and Lendl's finding out the hard way. No, that's just a hobby. Um, not so much. Hug involves two people. Not according to my quarter. Ron Matt, look at the look in his eyes, the quiver in his lips. Mathis has been absolutely beyond incensed since Sonny Vice did the unthinkable. Now he's trying to sell merchandise. Mathis is all over the place, but he better have some focus better have some determination if he wants to end this Cinderella story of the most unlikely heavyweight champion in the history of my producing live events. I'm just going to say, if you're going to defend your championship, maybe don't come to the ring with a drink in hand. Maybe, maybe be ready for business, kid. Well, Sonny Vice has that party side, but you know it's all business once he gets into that ring. Is that some liquid courage? Is it good luck? Is it to loosen up his uh, apprehensions? I'm not really sure, but we thought a month ago was the biggest match of Sonny Vice's life, and it was, but now it's even bigger. You know, Jay Worth, it's one thing to win it, but now he's a marked man. He's got to try everything he can to keep it, as we're going to go to Nick Lendl for the introductions in just a moment. Mathis to get back in the ring. Introducing first is the challenger from Chillicothe, Ohio. Weighing in at 203 and one quarter pounds. He is the white trash maniac, Ron Mathis. As unstable as he is every single month, I have never seen him this on edge. Jay Worth, Sonny Vice for a year said the same thing. I just need one fair shot to prove I can do it. And we've seen Sonny Vice screwed out of premier championship matches, screwed out of welterweight title matches, almost had his career ended by J-Rock. We've seen Sonny Vice taken out of number one contendership matches when the card changes. We've seen a lot of bad luck befall Sonny over the past year. But he finally got that one shot a month ago, and he did it. Sonny Vice believed in himself, and he did what probably nobody else in that building thought he could do, even though they hoped that he could. He became premier champion. Now can he keep that ride going? And that's the, that's the question, because it's two totally different set of skills. Winning a match is a different set of skills than maintaining a championship level. Well, Mathis is yelling at the top of his lungs, he's the champion, referring to himself. 
And these fans are reminding Ron Mathis that, uh, no, you got outsmarted, pal. Inside cradle, one, two, three, in the middle of the ring. Mathis was too busy yelling at fans and singing Steiner Brothers theme song or whatever else he was doing. And he took Sonny Vice lightly. And you can never take anybody lightly. I don't know. Right now, it seems like Sonny Vice is taking Ron Mathis a little lightly. I don't know that I would have stepped up to the ropes and and invited him in. I think Sonny Vice is enjoying the fact that he's got a psychological advantage here. Sonny's comfortable, focused, but comfortable. Mathis is all over the place right now. Mathis, on impulse or temper, hell, he could get himself disqualified and blow his one rematch. I don't know that I would want to go and play a psychological game with a psychopath like Ron Mathis. When one stares into the abyss, the abyss stares into you. I agree with you there, but... Forever! Oh, there's oh, a callback. There's a mistake. He's well, you turned your back on your opponent and then goaded him into hitting you. There's that gamesmanship you spoke about, and I got to uh, begrudgingly agree you were correct. You don't want to turn your back on Mathis. You don't want to try to get inside his head too much because you will pay for it. And you wanted to be a champion, kid? Well, here's your first lesson on how to be a champion. Survive this. Singing the song again. Oh, Steiner screwdriver, I think. Oh, wait, wait, Bryce and Crane no! again. He's gonna no! do it again. He's gonna do it again. Oh, dear fall. We can't afford to replace all the chairs again. Are you kidding? Mathis it looks like he had a heart attack. History almost repeated itself, and it comes fights with a clothesline. You know, I am not one to tell a man how to do his job, but maybe Ron Mathis might want to retire the Steiner screwdriver from his repertoire. You think? Oh, wait a oh. second! Huge collision, both men to the floor. And Vice, you can already see his body is discolored thanks to the uh, uh, damage that Mathis has done. Oof. Both this month and last month, let's be honest. And Vice has proven, Jay Worth, he can be deceptively physical. The way he stood up to J Rock. He beat J Rock in an I Quit match. Su survived tables and handcuffs, and J Rock at one point threw fire in Sonny Vice's face. This kid has literally and figuratively been through hell, came out of it, and won the top prize in this company, and was very, very emotional about it if you saw in our. Uh, my YouTube page that we, we linked on our social media. Vice's post-match speech from that championship, nearly in tears. Biggest moment of this kid's career. I couldn't be prouder for him. But man, he's got a handful in this return match without a doubt. I'm not saying he's not tough. Cross to body. Oh, Mathis rolls through. <laughs> Where's he going from here? Wherever Mathis decides to put him. Follow away slam. That's why he's the champ, Jim. He's not the champ. You tell him that. I'm fine right here. You know, he comes back here, I'm telling him what you said. Just tell him that you say he's the champ and we'll just let it go. Uh, if you're listening, uh, you're the champ, sir. And he may be by the time he gets back here, but that's a big may. That is a big question mark. No one thought Sonny could do it before. But Sonny's proven that on any given night, he could be the man. True. But at this point, Mathis is making Vice pay that second follow-away slam. Sent Vice even further than the first. If it was for a third, he may just throw him out of the building. And roll him right up the ramp with, a, with an, another Steiner screwdriver. Mathis mocking these fans. It looks like a, could be just a traditional delayed vertical suplex. All the blood rushing to Vice's head. This is an insane amount of time. Mathis is keeping Vice elevated upside down. It's six o'clock somewhere, Joe. This has got to be, what, 30 seconds at this point? 30, some of the fans were counting. I think we got to 33 seconds that Sonny Vice was over. And imagine what that does to your equilibrium and your balance. Just throws it completely off. As a person who's hung upside down that long, they can tell you. 
mask. Not and, gonna tell. And Mathis is berating Vice the whole way. And what Vice up and over Sunset Flip. Mathis is inching to the ropes. Can he get there in time? Vice Sunset Flip connects. No. no. They got half a count away from Mathis with a drop kick. Shades of the killer bees there. And Mathis is not exactly a catch as catch can wrestler. He doesn't like to show that athleticism. But he certainly can wrestle. He wouldn't have been the champion to count that time. Would you say he's a bit of a high flyer with a with a drop kick like that? In that exact moment he was. But in general, I think Mathis is just ground and pound and just no frills and all ugliness. Literally and figuratively. Here's Sonny Vice firing back. I don't even know if he needs the ground. I think he can probably get away with just pound and pound. Oh, and Vice low bridge to the floor. Vice is uh, quick pacing, got the better of oh, that. Look time. at this. Math is a suicide dive. You literally never know what this guy's going to pull out. And then he followed it up with just a snarl to the crowd. Forever! Forever. Forever. I mean, Terry Funk said it, and he was right. Ooh. Oh, Sonny Vice, a drop kick. Are you comparing Ron Mathis to Terry Funk? I am. Two tough SOBs. Look out, Sonny Vice, a suicide dive of the zone. Did you see Mathis, the impact he hit the guardrail with? I did, and frankly, if you told me that Ron Mathis punched a horse, I'd believe you. So if Ron Mathis told me he punched a horse, I'd believe him. He's well, the champ. Well, I don't believe that he's the champ. That's where we differ, but Sonny Vice... Fighting for his life here to maintain his status as champ. For the ride, reversal here. Power slam, nicely done. Not this shown great technique. And also showing a lot of anger and frustration. Which is could end up being a pretty deadly combination, Jeff. No kidding. But talk about what the the unofficial sixth man out there can do. That crowd support, because Sonny Vice unquestionably has won over this crowd in a major way. Sure, but uh, that 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 other, that, that sixth man, although I'm not quite sure how you're getting that count, because there's only three in the ring if you count the ref, but at best they're the fourth man. Fourth through the sixth man? Sonny the Eddie. counter, it's a sports analogy. Bulldog by Sonny Vice into the Shining Wizard. Could this be all here? Sonny retains the championship. Could have him. No. Anyway, where was I? Fourth man? So We're talking about the advantage the crowd can give you. Oh, well, they could get him some ice or maybe visit him in the hospital after this match or, or pick up his teeth if Ron Mathis sends him flying. Well, we'll see. They willed Sonny Vice to the upset victory of the past couple of years a month ago. They willed the lamb to slaughter, Joe. Look at what's happening to him. Yeah, son, he's fighting through. He's countering. He's rolling Mathis up. This could be it. No. It's like you want him to get Steiner screwdriver. I want Sonny Vice to prove you wrong. Mathis, oh. another attempt. Vice proved the world wrong a month ago. You were here for it. Maybe you get you need a private screening of Sonny Vice shocking the world. As Mathis connects with a pump handle and now elevates Vice into the TKO. And that could be it. Oh, no, it's not it. I think Mathis realizes how tough Sonny Vice is after last month. Jeez. Tiger driver. And that'll do it, though. And Mathis is in, in, in just stunned silence. Even Mathis doesn't have a response to that. He just shoves the body of Sonny Vice there. And now some light calisthenics. That's shades of the tantrum Mathis threw after the title loss a month ago. He was just working out a leg cramp. I, yep. I didn't have a full view of it, but I'm pretty sure that's what was going on. Oh, please. Now he's yelling three over and over again, as if that's going to change the result. It is a magic number. This crowd is definitively, it's almost like Mathis is envisioning the title still around his waist. It's, a, it's like a phantom limb pain. It's gone, and he knows it, but he still feels it. But he doesn't know it, because he's still the champ. 
Well, he's got to figure out Sonny Vice if he wants to get Ooh. it back. Vice has been on a roll. The Enziguri kick. Roll through with the full Nelson. Twisting suplex, Sonny Vice on top, driving with the legs near no. foe. And that same desperation on Math is so too you can feel it on Sonny Vice. Vice knows he's in for the fight of his life here. He's felt it before, he's felt it throughout this matchup. Vice knows he has to earn every ounce of this matchup if he can get a victory. Vice also, he doesn't know how deep this tank goes, how much gas is in there. He, this is his first title defense. It's true, it's a whole different view from that side of the ring. Dug to the clothesline. Oh, man, both men collide. You can almost see the air rushing out of both men's bodies. And Ron Math is down. You can tell how bad that hurt. Sonny Vice trying to catch his breath. Math is pulling himself up. This crowd willing Sonny Vice on. Vice having trouble breathing, having trouble standing. Math is much the same. Oh, nobody there in the corner. Out of the way. But torture rack. Math has successfully defended his title against Jason Kincaid this way in the month of January. This could be it, Bardsworth submission attempt. I think he's given up. Is well, he out? Well, I don't see a submission, but he could be out. That could be it. The official may have no choice but to stop this matchup. Just call it. Good Lord, do you want damage to the kid's back? Vice is limp. Wait a second. Vice is showing signs of life. Faint elbows and oh. Mathis, I think his vision was impaired by those counters. The official got caught up in the fracas. Vice that Asai DDT, and Vice has this match won. Second month in a row, Vice has Mathis pinned. He's going to retain the title. There's no one counting. What? Wait a minute. Oh, that's Chris LaRusso. LaRusso super kick. LaRusso, the man that brought Mathis into this company, forged a relationship with him. We haven't seen LaRusso in... in What's it been, five months now? He rolls Mathis on top of Vice. They're gonna steal it. No! No! Vice still has fight in him. We haven't seen LaRusso since Ricky Shane Page. Pile drove him on the ramp and sent him to the ER in the month of November. LaRusso's been waiting to pick his spot and it didn't work. Vice with a well-placed shot to LaRusso. And then one to the head. Oh, he's, but once again, distracted. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Mathis into the tombstone. Oh, God, he spiked him. Twisting. Good Lord, count to 100. We have a new champion. No, we have the champion we've always had. Ask Ron Mathis. For the second time, oh, isn't that a lovely pose? A celebration that he didn't earn because Chris LaRusso still beat the hell out of Sonny Vice. But regardless, we've seen this alliance in the past and apparently it's been rekindled with the return of Premier Championship Wrestling's heir apparent. Well, Sonny Vice needed to learn. It's a whole different view from the other side. Welcome to it, kid. And imagine the power LaRusso has controlling the actions of this maniac as premier champion. What could be next now that LaRusso's... Oh, that's just weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to agree with you on that one. It's a little weird. You don't know what Sonny Vice had put on that. With LaRusso back and Mathis as champion, what does this mean for the future of Premier Championship Wrestling? Well, it means that you're going to have a new champion forever. If they have anything to say about it, you're 100% right. Mathis hit a bump in the road, but he had a he had a secret plan waiting in the wings 
that maybe never left his side to begin with, now you can think about it. The LaRusso Mathis relationship is on top of Premier Championship Wrestling. And begrudgingly, I'll congratulate the new champion. But you got to feel for Sonny Vice because, man, this has been a, a run that's been worthy of an entire career. And he's getting the respect he deserves for many of these fans now. I can't believe this is going to be the last title match we ever see Sonny Vice. Oh, without a doubt. Sonny Vice has proven he's he's in that hunt. He's in that upper echelon. Sonny Vice only needed one fair shot to prove himself. He did. Sonny didn't have a fair shot tonight, but you got to believe Sonny Vice will have another day and many more future days here in Premier Championship Wrestling. As Vice proves all the doubters wrong. He did it. He was a champion. Nobody can ever take that away from him.